Welcome back to the channel for another daily crypto dive. It's the 21st of August 2024 and we're jumping straight into this with the fear and greed index. As always, we are sitting at a 26 fearful. This is the same as yesterday and the same as last week. We are currently in a market that could explode at any moment. It just takes that one individual thing to really set everything off. So let's keep this thing rolling. Let's go straight over to the crypto bubble screen and we can see that on the day things are looking rather green, even though we're seeing a lot of these red candles coming in. We are seeing a lot of individual things trying to move upwards. It seems meme coins are getting hit quite hard. If we flick over to the 100 to 200, we can see that on the day things are still holding up against this current news that's coming in. And we'll be going over lots of different news here and we are starting with our first article which is on some XRP and it's American Express embracing XRP for faster cost effective global transactions. I do a lot of coverage on XRP and I produced a relatively good video yesterday. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video if you want to go in, check out the connection and things that are going on behind the scenes, you're more than welcome to go and do that. But this partnership between Ripple and American Express for me further bolsters the idea of global adoption coming from all of the different banks in that sector. So as we see more news coming out like this, it's really going to push me into a motion of buying more XRP coins. And I'm not a financial advisor. This is just something that I've been doing for a considerable amount of time with XRP as I believe in what they are building. So we have got a very interesting elaboration going on here with TerraPay launching a wallet interoperability program with global payments platforms. And what we're seeing is far more adoption than we have ever seen before with crypto being used and utilized as global payments. So this wallet is being produced by a group of five digital wallet operators, which makes up this international money transfer system, making everything just more accessible on a global scale. And even without diving into that, it's just bullish news. It's more adoption. It is walking towards what we've all got involved for is being part of that 1% and then watching the other 99% flow in and watch our bags get pumped. So let's jump over to this article here, which is another suspected high profile crypto scammer caught in Montenegro. And if you're not familiar with the Terra Luna crash and Du Quan, he's actually caught up in Montenegro himself for traveling on fake documents aiming to get to Dubai. So this is an alleged crypto scammer accused of stealing more than $20 million and has been arrested while on the run in Montenegro and now faces an anxious wait to find out if he will be extradited to South Korea or Poland. So this is a Polish national named Roman Zimian, who was alleged co-founder of crypto Ponzi scheme FutureNet, was originally arrested in Italy in 2022, but escaped while under house arrest. Very interesting, Duquan's under house arrest in Montenegro. Police in Montenegro announced his recapture on Sunday, detailing how the accused crypto scammer was apprehended on August 17th in a newly built residential block in the capital of Puerto Rico. So this, again, very interesting. We're always consistently seeing bad actors flocking to Montenegro aiming to get to places like Dubai and I think they're picking up on it now and this is why they're catching on to so many different people. Yesterday we saw a significant amount of news circulating in reference to Gary Gensler possibly becoming the next Treasury Secretary. So Custodia Bank CEO Caitlin Long debunked these claims and moreover she believes that Gary Gensler himself is the source of these rumours. This would suit the character base that we have for a man like Gary Gensler, who is responsible for efforts like Operation Choke Point 2.0, which is currently in effect. And as previously with those articles we've gone over with the adoption of crypto in these global payment system, we can see that his effort is starting to fail. And if you don't know what Operation Choke Point 2.0 is, I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can get up to date on that. So looking at this article here, we can see that CZ Binance is in the headlines once again, and he's set to be released from jail very soon. And this is a lawsuit that has been brought forward against CZ and Binance, as we can see here from the court document and docket 
number. So this is a class action lawsuit filed in the United States District Court for the Western District of Washington. And the plaintiffs allege their crypto was stolen and those funds were sent to Binance by the thieves to remove the connections between the ledger and their digital assets, making them untraceable. So I can personally say to everybody here, I've actually seen accounts of this happen in my own ecosystem with people that I'm familiar with who actually had a substantial hack happen on their L2 chain. So do be aware that these things do happen and it is nice to actually see the small people being heard in these rather large courts against these rather large companies. Everybody should be held to account when it comes down to crypto and that's what further adoption on a global scale is going to lead to. So we are seeing a rather negative reaction in the market initially today, although it's starting to pick up a little bit now. We are seeing that the Fed confronts up to a million US jobs simply vanishing in its revision. So this was news I think was already priced into the market and a lot of us knew that the job report wasn't accurate and whatever happened, it was going to be a surprise that we had already prepared ourselves to leading to it being priced into the market. So we're also seeing Andrew Tate showing up once again in the news and this has a reference in crypto because of his daddy meme coin tumbling following this Romanian police raid. I'm not going to go over this because of the sensitive terms of the case, but you're more than welcome to go and have a look yourself. So we're moving into the end of the video here and I saved the best till last. If you're someone who looks for opportunities in the market like I do, then you'll possibly be looking at an opportunity like this, where TFL themselves are going through a shutdown process. And throughout this process, we're gonna see a significant amount of coins burn. And one of the confirmations that we can say to you is certainly going to happen is 150 million Luna coins coins being burnt in one simple hit. So this is a substantial amount when it comes down to the supply. And if you take a look at the supply and we do the maths behind it, you're looking at around 18% of that supply being torched. As you can see here, around 828 million, removing that 150 million, looking at an 18% decrease in that circulating supply. So if you're someone who looks for opportunities like this, it could be one for you to look into. I'm not a financial advisor, but I do like to look into different stuff like this, gauge data, and then possibly make trades on it in the future. And everything here is simply for educational purposes only. So that burn is going to be initiated very soon, considering they have released details today stating that the planned confirmation hearing in the Chapter 11 bankruptcy cases of Terraform Labs PTE and Terraform Labs Limited has been set to September 19th, 2024. So we're going to start to see all of this set into motion. And I don't have time to include it in this video, but I'll be releasing a further video on it. So do subscribe and keep an eye out for that one. And it may enable you to find another opportunity like this with Wrapped Luna and Luna Classic, where we possibly could see a quarter of a trillion of those coins simply burn. So that's all I've got for you here today. I hope you've really enjoyed this update. I hope this has given you a broader perspective on the market, enabling you to make better decisions moving forward. So as I was saying, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you can, hit the notifications bell if you haven't already, and just stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.